Hello, ladies and gentlemen, crypto deep divers. Welcome back to Weekly Crypto. Today, I'm going to talk about Digibyte as well as Visa. Of course, there's a lot of shitcoin still in the crypto space. And I will cover the COVID toll as well. So this is the COVID toll. Ooh, it looks oh, so ugly. So before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out the upcoming videos that could be time sensitive. Also, you can follow me on Twitter library.tv and Patreon as well. So for my uh, Patreon uh, member, I just post a video uh, where to buy N95 or surgical mask. So right now with the reopening, uh, more people will be, you know, back to the community. And potentially there's a lot of hidden spread that you don't know. And in fact, in New York, one out of five um, people tested, uh, tested positive for uh, antibodies in New York. So there may be a lot of people uh because with the with the um with the reopening a lot a lot of traveling may be happening in the next few months and you know if you are living in New York one or five a test positive test the antibody positive so you got to protect yourself and your family so uh the best way is to wear a surgical mask seriously I mean the cloth mask is not going to protect you because. <clears throat> Uh, those has no filter, no filtration as well uh, at all. So you need uh, N95 uh, if you are travel, if you're flying, you're going to need N95 seriously. But if you're going to a store, uh, going to indoor uh, area or crowded area, you need a surgical mask, not a craft mask. It's not going to protect you, uh, craft mask. But anyway, uh, also I create two bonus video for the Crypto Die Master Patreon. Uh, which gold and silver coin has high resale value and also coronavirus animate. And of course, um, if you miss the Tesos, there's another uh, altcoin uh, I see as uh, next Teso. If you're interested, you can check it out. There's a whole bunch of video I posted earlier where to buy gold and silver, essential vitamins uh, for preventing coronavirus as well. I mean, this coronavirus virus fiasco is going to be here for a while. So unfortunately... So uh, if you're interested, you can join my Patreon group and let's talk about uh, Digibyte. So um, Digibyte founder basically uh, stepped down and because he's fed up with the current uh, crypto community, everybody is basically looking for when the coin is going to the moon, right? Everybody's like, when moon, when moon, right? And they don't care about the fundamentals of the technology at all. They just want to pump and dump and he's basically fed up. And of course, Digibyte has been pumping like crazy for the last six weeks. And uh, he basically uh, accused the crypto community of becoming um, uh, co-op and eroded by greed and warning of centralization. And of course, uh, they are uh, he talk about he tweet about people just focus on short term uh, profiting and that's all. They don't care about the uh, technology. They don't care about the decent decentralized nature of the cryptocurrency. They don't care all this crap. They all they care is when the coin is going to moon, right? That uh, ninety percent of the people care for cashing out when it is uh, when the coin uh, moon go to the moon, and. Unfortunately, unfortunately, this is a uh, majority of people are uh, doing that. I mean, I mean, I don't blame them. You know, quick money, uh, everybody wants it. Uh, that's why there's a lot of pump and dump, a whole bunch of scammy activity, and of course, those some of the sh exchange are pretty shady as well. <clears throat> and so basically, he's saying that um, he, uh, I will not quietly sit back and watch the fundamentals. What I have spent the most creative years of my life to, uh, to build be co-opted and eroded by greed. And uh, so we talk about Digibyte, like parabolic move. And and he plans to keep on building Digibyte. And uh, so basically he's going to uh, build some, um, uh, because the, he's going to focusing on using the open source of Digibyte tech to build some commercial applications independence of Digibyte. And a decentralized project must stand on its own um, um, merit not its founder's opinion. That is very true. I mean, if your project is good, your project is good. But the thing is, a lot of projects, uh, as I mentioned earlier, is like 90% of the uh, project is going to fail. And uh, this is what uh, one of the venture capitalists talk about as well. There's uh, still a lot of garbage or shitcoin in the crypto space, basically. <clears throat> and uh, a lot of them are promoting all this, uh, how, how, uh, how great their coin, uh, 
what they're going to do, how they're changing the world and all that thing. But then at the end of the day, it's just a uh, pump and dump. Uh, you have an ICO back in 2017, then you have an IEO in 2018. And then um, basically it's just the same pattern, IEO, inter uh, interoperability, privacy coin, uh, all this thing, just just give some, some type of catalyst to pump and dump, right? So it has been the last three years of all this thing, uh, you know, this pump and dump fiasco. And he talked about altcoin post to crash. Well, uh, but the thing is a lot of altcoins already crashed almost 90%, right, <laughs> already. So uh, anyway, so uh, so maybe some more coins, maybe, maybe we'll, I mean, the thing is, like, it doesn't matter because like, Right now, we're in a bear market. If Bitcoin doesn't go anywhere, the altcoin is not going to go in anywhere. And of course, with the Bitcoin dominance and all that, uh, altcoin is not going anywhere. And a lot of people saying that, oh, when are we going to have an altcoin, altcoin season? Maybe we will, will come one day, but I don't think I don't think right now. I mean, right now, you're still waiting for the Bitcoin to, to fly, right? So if the Bitcoin do well, then of course, um, altcoin will do well as well, right? And of course, you can look at the Bitcoin dominance and see like, if Bitcoin dominance is is uh, is not that um, high. Of course, it will go to altcoin. But the right now, there's so many shitcoin in the market. You you know, you, there's only a handful few a handful of the few selected pro projects that is pretty good. But a whole bunch of them are garbage basically. And Visa also filed pattern um, to mint digital fiat currency using blockchain. And don't forget, uh, Visa, they have over 100 million transactions every single day. So the pattern already filed back in November, then they make public on first day. And they're going to, the system is going to uh, mean digital fiat currency. And of course, they're going to keep a tally of all the insurance on the blockchain that will be managed by the central entity computer. The system would also remove physical cash from circulation. That's scary. If you remove uh, physical cash, that is not good at all. Seriously. <clears throat> so it seems like they're talking about central entity, maybe a central bank. They co collab with the central bankers to regulate the monetary supply. And I don't know if you talk, if you remember talk about the renminbi, uh, digital renminbi, and they can basically control how. You spend the money, and uh, for example, if there's a shortage of pork or chicken, they would just they would just uh you know use a program to block you. Not uh, that you cannot buy those items. You can only buy beef or buy turkey or stuff like that. I mean, they can they can do it with 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 your. I mean, they can easily control because they can just because all the money, the digital money is in a cell phone, right? They already have a trial uh, in uh, some of the city in China. Half of the salary or half of the money will go to digital and half the money is still in traditional way uh, going to your bank account, but half of them is going to uh, go digital. So it's going to be in your cell phone. So you can go to use your cell phone to spend money. <clears throat> and they have a, um, so they have a barcode and stuff like that you can scan. And anyway, so, that is not good because this is how they control the monetary policy. And of course, maybe they if they want to stimulate the spending, they would just say, hey, this digital money is going to expire in a certain day. You have to go and spend it. Otherwise, it will become worthless. So basically, somebody else can control how you spend your money. It's your own money, seriously. And uh, if there's a central entity uh, to control that, that's mean they're going to... Uh, that means they have the authority to take the physical fiat currency out of circulation and even destroy it. That is pretty scary. I don't like that. But uh, I hope we are not going to get to the point that they control how you spend your money. You are you basically like a slave of your government. If the government tells you how you can spend your money, right? So today you cannot buy chicken, or tomorrow you cannot buy fish, or to to uh, or or uh, there's a time expiration date of your money. <laughs> Anything could happen, you know. Extreme times have extreme measure. Uh, desperate time have desperate people too, right? And desperate government as well. They can, if there's things are very desperate, the government can do whatever they want, basically. So it's just important that uh, still have physical cash and of course go and silver, right? 
Uh, yep, that's pretty scary. Okay, let me know what you think about this. I would love to hear from you. Let's talk about the COVID toast. Oh, this is so gross, man. <clears throat> so this is pretty rare. It's like it's like swollen, reddish, sometimes itchy, swelling you as well. So this is this is a uh, COVID toast basically. And recently, uh, the uh, uh, there's a th dermatologist probably very busy seeing all this. A lot of people coming sometimes rashes in uh, in the uh, in the extremity, the toe, the hands as well, and mostly happen to young people, uh, the the teenager or younger people. <clears throat> but they don't have any symptoms. Some of them have no symptoms, no typical symptoms. For example, fever, uh, fever. What else? Fever, uh, headache. You know, you know those coughing. You know stuff like that. They don't have those stuff symptoms. They. They only have these weird symptoms, seriously. And these have a lot of uh, this case recently. And basically, those are COVID toes. And uh, that is ridiculous, man. But they tell you don't race to the emergency room. <laughs> so I have a COVID toes. I'm going to I'm going to race to the emergency room. I hope those COVID toes uh, will recover. I hope it's not going to get worse and then end up amputated. That is oh, that is so gross, man. Um, <laughs> Anyway, the COVID toes, um, so some people, they show symptoms. Uh, they show, uh, they show uh, the COVID toes as well, show, showing symptoms as well. And some patients, they only have the COVID toes and no symptoms. That is so weird. I, I'm telling you, this thing could be man-made in lab. I mean, this is so creepy. This virus is like, it's so uh, hideous. I don't know. <clears throat> and of course, um, some people uh, report uh, the loss of smell, and of course, vomiting and diarrhea. Those are not pretty. Those are not common, but it still happen, you know. And uh, and you know the typical symptoms like fever, dry cough, shortness of breath. No, none of the above. Seriously, I mean they only have a COVID toe. And they're talking about evaluate a dermatologist. Uh, evaluate eighty eight COVID nineteen patients. Eighty eight patients in Italy find one out of five have some sort of skin. Uh, Skin symptom, mostly red, uh, red rashes over the trunk, and uh, also a Spanish doctor reported a series of three hundred seventy-five confirmed cases, uh, skin uh, problem, hives, chickenpox, like lesions to toe swelling. You know, you know what? China is not fair transparency. What they are talking about, you know, that in in Western world you have something like that, but in China they never talk about this, like like COVID toe or whatever, or maybe. It's so mild that uh, they 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 don't want, even want to talk about it. Uh, you know they're not transparent. So, <clears throat> so if this happened in in a Western world, probably happened in China back in January and February, really, right? And pick, there's a whole bunch of like rotten toes, rashes all over the social media, and of course in the doctor check uh check group or whatever. And uh, this is insane. Anyway. So, and also they talk about possible, uh, let's see, 500 report case late March. Oh, wow. So of the 500 cases uh, in late March, half of them are on the feet. Ooh. <clears throat> so basically they talk about this. So the reaction like this is because of the immune response, basically. It's an information, uh, inf uh, inflammatory reactions uh, because of the uh, COVID-19, uh, the coronavirus uh so this is basically just information triggered by and uh, by uh, the virus, and basically the virus basically in, uh, irritating the lining of the blood vessels in the skin, or causing microscopic blood clots. Uh, yeah, you and absolutely true because uh, some patient have stroke, right? Uh, some COVID patient has stroke as well. And that's why they do some type of anticoagulation for those type of patients as well. And uh, remember that the other one uh, has a heart attack. So the COVID, it seems to target every freaking organs. Uh, every, every, <laughs> every organs in the body, the lungs, the heart, and uh, you have stroke, and also some, pat some patients have like, some type of central uh, nervous system illnesses. I mean, it's everywhere. So this is insane. So let me know what you think about this COVID toll. Uh, so I would love to hear from you. And let me know if you know anybody has COVID toes. Please comment below as well. I would love to hear from you. 
And so this comment, what do you think about digital buy? You know, he seemed to be fed up with people who just want to be short term, pump and dump. And how about the visa pattern? And also uh, the venture capitalists talk about a whole bunch of shitcoin still in the crypto space. Comment below. I would love to hear from you. And <clears throat> if you haven't um, used the Brave browser, you can you should check it out because it's saved me from serving the internet. And uh, also you can earn basic attention token as well just by serving the internet. Uh, if you're interested, you can click the link below. Join the uh, decentralized movement, you know. And so comment below that will help my ranking in YouTube and I will continue to provide quality video for you guys. Remember, crypto deep divers, we the people take control of our money. And if you like this video, smash the like button, share the videos. Also, uh, you can uh, follow me on Twitter, library.tv and Patreon as well. And I'm not a financial advisor. Investing in cryptocurrency, commodity and stock market can have inherent risk. Please use your due diligence. I'm not your healthcare provider. If you have any questions or concerns about coronavirus, you should contact your, with your doctor.